I look horrendous. Day three. Oh my god, look at the state of me. Didn't sleep too well last night. I've woken up with two spots. Um, and I've got to go to Slough today, so I've got to go into the... Oh, I look horrendous. I've got to go into the office today, which is in Slough. Um, luckily, it's the only day I've got to go in this week, but I live in Tooting, and the office is in Slough. So unless I leave at 6 o'clock in the morning, it takes me so long to get in. So what I regularly do is go to the gym before work, get a workout done, and then get to my desk for about quarter to nine, nine o'clock. Um... Obviously, I'm not supposed to be going to the gym, but I think I'm just going to go in, do some stretching and mobility, because um, otherwise I'm just going to be sat in traffic for ages. I've woken up with a really, really dry mouth. It's almost as if I've got a hangover from eating crap food. Ugh. I had one beer, so it's definitely not a hangover. Yeah, this is a really, really weird feeling. <laughs> Got my coffee in the car, got my cold pizza, because it's what the boys are having. I'm off to work in Slough. I'm feeling so bloated from last night, man. Like, I'm not even getting my 10,000 steps in. Um, and yeah, I just my body's feeling horrendous. I've had this before when I go on holiday or stay on a plane for ages. If I'm not moving, my body doesn't regulate properly, and I don't get frequent bowel movements. So, let me crack on my pizza and my coffee, and I guess I'll see you in Slough. So that pizza's kept me full up for about, to be fair, three and a half hours. It's just gone 10 o'clock, I'm hungry again already, so I'm gonna catch the last of the breakfast in the office and go and get something to eat. To be fair, my office canteen's actually not too bad. You can get chicken sausages, you can make like um, healthier choices, so let's go and see what we can get. So I'm in the office, it's lunchtime on day three, one o'clock, and I really can't stomach anything. I can't bring myself to eat any food, so I've just texted Ed to ask him what he's having for lunch, and he's going to some restaurant. Um, I told him that I can't eat anything, so he said this. Let's see the conversation. Oh my God, I look horrendous, look at me. Skin's all dry, I'm so thirsty as well. Um, but yeah, I, I can't eat anything today. I'm going out for dinner tonight, and really, I have no appetite. I've been on the toilet for about half an hour today, and yeah, I can't stomach anything. I'm even out of breath going up the stairs, that's ridiculous. Um, anyway, check out the message I just received from Ed as to what I'm supposed to do for lunch. Right, you have to have something. Coffee and a chocolate bar. What about a fag as well? No. Apparently I can get away with having no food if I have a fag, a coffee and a chocolate bar. To put it into perspective of how full up I am feeling, I am contemplating having a fag and a coffee for lunch because I really, really can't stomach anything. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, I'm thinking of not doing this. The fag was a bit too far. But, crisp and the chocolate bar it is. It's the midway point, so I thought I'd jump on and give a quick update. Meanwhile, eating a slice of pizza. What's happened to me? So at the start of the week when I weighed myself, I was 76.1 kilograms. I've gone in this morning and weighed myself and I'm 79.3. That is ridiculous. Now, I know that that's going to be a lot of water retention because I've been eating a lot of carbs. Um, and also, increasing glycogen stored can have an effect on it. But, there's no denying that I'm going to put some fat on over the three days that I've been eating well in the surplus of my calories. So yeah, there's the weight update. Skin-wise, I am looking horrendous. I've got one, two spots. So another one over here, three. My skin just feels really dry. I mean, I'm aging a little bit, but I just feel well wrinkly. Um, and yeah, now a physique update. Also, I've got spots on my chest. Never have them normally. 
So you may not think there is a noticeable difference, but I think when you see it side by side, there will be. I feel like I've put on a bit of fat on my belly, but I've just been bloated all day. So I've had sharp pains in and around here, and then this bit, just really bloated. I've definitely put weight on. That one there before. So yeah, off out again tonight. I'd normally be really looking forward to this, but it's just becoming a chore now. Um, I'm not hungry. I know I've just eaten a slice of pizza. I was hungry, now I'm not. Um, and it's gonna be more beers. And yeah, it's an unlimited all you can eat meat place. So, God help me. Hopefully once I get a beer down me, I feel all right again. But at the minute, I'm not looking forward to it. It's day in the life of you normally, isn't it, George? Get the beers in, boy. <laughs> Go now. Get that right on the toe. Oh, that's too much for Robbie Hayes. He's only small. He's very small. Oh, it's too much. Yes. So, where's the tongue? Please bite it, Harry. Please bite it. Just bite it. A nice big bit. Oh, that's a little bit more. That's bad. I didn't give an update last night because I literally couldn't be bothered. I was in the worst mood. I didn't enjoy the night out at all yesterday. Um, and yeah, I literally just couldn't be bothered to do anything. I got little footage of the, of the meal last night. And yeah, I honestly just feel like my motivation levels are so low. And I'm getting more sleep, I think, than I usually do. And I feel more tired. I feel knackered this morning um.